why just why hey guys this is frozen ding steals here and welcome back to another video and today i am going to be sharing with you all my quick thoughts on the recent movie news and i mean not just any movie news but a controversial controversial one yep a very controversial movie news about a certain celebrity that just happened and this is one that made me extremely upset because not only am i a fan of this particular actress but i am a fan of this franchise as well so yeah if you guys don't know what i'm talking about well you saw the title and you're seeing the image right now yep i am going to be talking about the uh, news about Melissa Barrera getting fired from Scream 7 and from, and most likely some of the other projects she's seen as well but I don't know about that yet but oh boy so yeah now yeah if you guys don't know Scream is my favorite horror franchise of all time I absolutely love Scream to death uh, especially with uh, the first film Scream 5 and Scream 6 the, the Scream 5 and 6, I uh, defend, I don't get the hate for them, I stand by uh, my opinions in those movies, they're both uh, the two best, uh, the, the, the two best in the Scream franchise, and they're both like, both of them are in my top 3, uh, or maybe even top 5 favorite movies of their respective years. Scream 5 is in my top 3 favorite, favorite movies of 2022, and Scream 6 is in my top five favorite movies of 2023 uh, and uh, as much as i wish uh, to put scream five but uh, no wait, scream six in my top three well there are it does have competition well 2022 has like less competition but yeah i love this franchise especially the new ones i defend them and as i expected i was hyped for scream seven like it was in my top 10 most anticipated um, of the upcoming movies yeah it was um among my most most anticipated movies of all time list and yeah i was extremely hyped uh, to see scream uh, 7. I, I had i kept i had so many ideas on where the story is going to go i mean I, yeah we definitely uh need uh, this direction that i'm about to uh, suggest right here um that we get to see uh sam and tara's mother uh, christina carpenter um, played by Salma Hayek or maybe any uh, sexy young, sexy Mex Mexican actress uh, or anyone can think about. I think I heard Melissa Barrera say that she wanted uh, she wants Salma Hayek to play uh, as uh, Christina Carpenter, so that should be good. And also, um, I want and also this could have been a much more unique uh, screen film. Even though I think Scream Five and Six were unique enough to me there were like there are some people who uh, would claim that they're actually very generic and uh, all that stuff uh, but i don't think they're generic at all i think uh, they feel very fresh and, and i love the meta commentary i mean it's just so good to, to hear the this um these meta commentaries but yeah oh boy um but yeah i, I and also i would have wanted a certain cast members to be in scream 7 like Say Singo, Rachel Zegler, um, Catherine Newton. I mean, you, I mean, you, you can have a, a a new list of great. Uh, 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 you can have a list of great stars uh, to to be in Scream Seven. Although I I wanted the Say Sing so badly because I can I can definitely see a lot of potential in her, especially as a, as one of the Ghostface killers. But now after knowing about this news, uh, I. I'll put my foot down. I am officially not excited for Scream 7. And I know I, I said in a community post that I'm not excited for Scream 7. I was going to make a video on it. Well, this is the video. Um, th this is certainly the, the, the video right here. So yeah, let's get to yeah, why so to this. So yeah, now if you guys um don't know by now, if, if you guys are living under the rock uh, or under a rock, you, you don't get the... Um, how do I say this? Uh, you don't get updated with the movie news. Well, I'm here to explain to you all uh, what just happened. So, Melissa Barrera got fired from Scream 7. Why? Because she she uh, 
shared a very political statement and, and giving her own political opinions on who she stands with. So basically she's made a post about the Israel slash Palestinian war and uh, she said that um, basically she, she said that she basically stands with Palestinians uh, um, over Israelites and, and she made a post convincing more people to uh, side with the, the, the Palestinians and even also that also um, convinced the uh, people to to um um to you know um she's no not really convinced but she spoke against genocide yeah genocide a very dangerous uh, thing uh, it even feels dangerous just saying the word the genocide yeah but yeah but apparently um yeah Paramount and uh, yeah so basically uh, Paramount and Spyglass uh decided to uh, fire her because of, they can't they, um, they have zero tolerance for anti-semitism and yeah poor Melissa Barrera oh and what makes this even worse well technically I'll, I'll get to that later uh, but let's focus on Melissa Barrera so yeah now Melissa Barrera is a fantastic actress in fact I'd say in my top 10 favorite actresses of all time I love her that much of course the Scream F Scream 5 and 6 is definitely her best performance but she's Got some other like top notch roles too, like in in the Heights and Carmen, which Carmen is an, an underrated gem by the way. If you haven't seen Carmen, I one million percent recommend you to to watch Carmen. Um, to watch Carmen, but yeah, um, Melissa Barrera is amazing. Um, she can do no wrong. I think she. I, I saw her in a, in another movie. I forgot what it was, but yeah, I do know that she has an upcoming project. Uh, upcoming project called. Um, uh, the, well, there's no title yet, but it's uh, an untitled monster horror project from Radio Silence. Yeah, the same director as Scream Five and Five and Six, but um, Scream Five and Six, but yeah, um, yeah. That um, I I'm hoping that Melissa Barrera um will still be in that will still be in a movie and won't get fired. But yeah, but here I mean she is playing the new main girl. I mean. Sam Carpenter is supposed to be the main girl of uh, the, the the new Scream main girl. Like she's supposed to be the new Sydney Prescott, the uh, the new uh Sydney Prescott. Um, yeah. But oh, and by the way, before I I, I move on, I I want to read to you about specifically what Melissa Barrera, Barrera put in her post. Uh, put in her post. So yeah, it, it is on her Instagram. Uh, and yeah. In her Instagram story, she wrote, I believe a group of people are not their leadership and that no governing body should be above criticism. Oh, oh, by the way, actually, oh, wait, my bad. This is actually the, the, the defense uh, one. I'll get it in a bit. Sorry about, sorry if I'm getting things uh, mixed up yet. I'm actually in the article right now while I'm um, recording. Um, yeah, I don't want to waste my time explaining the process, but yeah. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Yeah, she's a Sam Carpenter is supposed to be the uh, the the main girl, and and you can't just uh, throw it away. That there's more story to tell. Like like this franchise deserves to uh, conclude on a high note. But instead, they decided to write off the core for it and bring back uh, the um the main the original scream lead. So yeah, now. Uh, Nev Campbell as Sidney Prescott is coming back and also Patrick Dempsey as Mark Kincaid is also coming back too and uh, yeah even I'm hoping that uh, Paramount can uh, pay uh, can pay up uh, Nev Campbell this time around because that's actually the reason why she left Scream 6 because she's not getting paid enough she wasn't paid enough yet and by the way uh, the strike is over at least we can all uh, move on from it and all this stuff but yeah I mean, wow, this is just heartbreaking, yeah, I, this is upsetting, um, I, I, I even feel a little upset talking about this, like, I'm kind of getting, starting to get a bit of a, I don't know call it, kind of a headache, but at the same time not, and uh, this is just making me feel a little stressed, a little tired, just even thinking about it, but I just really want to uh, give you guys my thoughts on it, so yeah, um, it's unfair, how come uh, Pam, I don't understand how Paramount, uh, or not even Paramount, but Hollywood uh, can just uh, fire, um, um, fire um, actors uh, for just uh, 
saying uh, some controversial stuff uh, for bringing up some controversial topics and then having an opinion like voicing out an opinion why would that um get why would that you know um like cause the the star to get fired that like that makes no sense you don't just fire stars just for uh fire you don't just fire your actors uh, just to just for saying some political stuff i mean that that has nothing to do with acting yeah I mean, just because Melissa Barrera um, voiced out an opinion that she sides with the Palestinians than uh, o- over the Isra- Israelites, uh, that doesn't mean that that this that that doesn't mean that that she should automatically get blacklisted and fired. That is uh, some BS right there. Um, and oh, uh, like and plus, um, Melissa Barrera was just saying her opinion that she sides with the Palestinians and she supports them. I don't know what's wrong with that. I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with just voicing an opinion. An opinion. That's the, the, the beauty of politics. That's what that's what makes politics very interesting. Is that you get to share your opinions. You get to to have your own personal political stance. And yet by firing uh, actors uh, just for uh, having a political stance, like don't. Like you can separate the, that from the art, from the from the actress. Like you can, like that doesn't affect the, the actress' of personal life, and that should not affect the career at all. I don't. I seriously don't know what Paramount is thinking. And yeah, the the and then uh, right after Melissa Barrera got fired, she was uh, she wrote an Instagram uh, another uh, note, and she said she um pretty much defended uh, you know defended her comments about the Palestinians that that caused her to be fired and she said this I believe a group of people are not their leadership and that no governing body should be above criticism I pray day and night for no more deaths for no more violence and for peaceful coexistence I will continue to speak out for for those that need it most and continue to advocate for the peace and safety for the human rights and freedom silence is not option uh, option for uh, for me and then um, she also like uh, made this uh, made another response about her getting fired saying at the end of the day at the end of the day I'd rather be excluded for who I include than be included for who I exclude yeah that is a uh, brave right there that is honestly very brave for Melissa Barrera to stand up against uh, to pretty much uh, stand up uh, against her points to, to be like nah I mean if you don't get, I mean, if you fire me, I don't care. I I still stand by my, my opinion. I'm actually uh, glad that Melissa Barrera is brave. Instead of just being like, okay, I'll just not have my, I'll just not have an opinion just so I can get get this role. Yeah. But seriously, I just really don't understand why you need to fire stars just whenever they have a political stance. That is really unfair. Oh, and you know what's even worse uh, than this? Jenna Ortega also left the project. Why? I mean, there were some fake sources that that, that claim there's there were some uh, fake sources that that claim that uh, Jenna Ortega was fired mainly for you know for her scheduling conflicts, especially with the uh, Wednesday season two and Beetlejuice two. But actually, the reason as to why she got fired the no no not fired but the reason why she quit the. Uh, Scream Seven is because Melissa Pereira. Um, it is because Melissa Pereira left, and yeah, the, I mean that is uh, honestly a good thing right there. Yeah, the way to go, um, Tara Carpenter. Yeah, way to go, Jenna Ortega. That is uh, the right uh, decision. <laughs> yeah, that is the right decision. Uh, because first of all, I mean. Yeah, Tara is my favorite character in the Scream fan franchise. Uh, Tara is the main reason why I love Scream Five and Six. But you don't just um say um, but you you can't have Tara without Sam. Sam and Tara deserve to be together. You can't have Jenna Ortega without Melissa Barrera. I mean, they both give such a perfect, a spot on chemistry. And taking that away uh, in Scream Seven, separating both of them when one of them is not in the movie and the other is um. Yeah, I mean, I just yeah, and also if uh, they um, had the balls to actually recast as uh, Sam Carpenter, who's gonna play her? Because honestly, I don't ima- I can't imagine anyone 
who is, I can imagine anyone who uh, can play the role of, of Sam Carpenter better than, than Mesa Pereira. Maybe Aza Gonzalez, because she's Mexican, she's in the same age, and she, she is kind of as, just as tall as Melissa Pereira, but then again, I don't know. I mean, she might look a little too old for it. So, yeah. And, and yeah, but, yeah, Melissa Pereira is uh, um, firing his band up, but even Jenner and Taga leaving a project. Oh, God. And even, most likely, the entire members of the core, core four, including Mason Gooding and Jasmine Savoy Brown, uh, I'm sure they, they'll leave the project too uh, in order to support uh, Melissa Barrera, in order to stand by her instead of just standing by um, the, the studios at the session. So, yeah, um, I, even though I, I'm not really in, in the side of the Palestinians, I'm more in the side of the Israel, so um, don't judge me please. Um, like, we can all have our own different political viewpoints, we can all view things differently. I mean, if we can um, view movies differently, uh, then uh, the same can be said for I mean, the same can be said for um, the um, for for political standpoints. I mean, if you stand with with point A and um, instead of point B, then fine. It, it's your choice. That's what po politics is all about. It's about sharing your opinions on very broad topics like government like topics or world like realistic like topics. So yeah, um, and. Yeah, I uh, totally stand with Melissa Pereira. Um, yeah, and yeah, sorry Paramount and Radio Silence, but I am not excited for Scream 7. I was actually even more hyped for it when I heard that Christopher Landon is uh, gonna be in this, cause uh, you, you probably remember Freaky, which I think is amazing. But yeah, I'm sorry Christopher Landon. I mean, you could have made a best Scream movie, but yeah, I mean, now I, I'm kind of keeping my expect expectations low. Do I think this could be a, a good movie? Yeah, I mean it's Scream. I mean if, if, if even the Scream films that the f first two specifically um, are gra as great as it is so without uh, Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, um, then uh, maybe Scream 7 could also work without them. But then again, you're, they're ba you're basically abandoning storylines. You're, you're like Sam and Tyra's stories are, are, are now uh, not concluded because of this. And what's going to happen now? What's going to be the plot? Uh, who are going to be the new characters? Who's going to be the new ghost face? Uh, like, I don't even think we're going to see the core four in this. Um, how are they going to handle just the um, core four not being in the, in the movie? So, yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, I said that this is going to be a quick review. Well, I don't know why I said that. But anyways, yeah. That's all for my thoughts on Melissa Barrera getting fired from Scream 7, as well as uh, Jenner Tega leaving too. Even though I, I'm only going to mention Melissa's name on, in the, um, on the title above. So yeah, so yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on, on this movie news? Uh, do you um, think that, um, how do I say this? Um, would you, uh, um, do you stand with uh, Melissa Barrera or you side with the studios in thinking they did the right thing to fire Melissa Barrera. Comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for more videos to come. Maybe my uh, Disney Re Revival Age review my ranking could come. And also stay tuned for my double review on Loki Season 2 and Scott Pilgrim Takes On. Bye guys.